Hello guys, back to a new video inside new Kia EV6. Today we will talk about the new multimedia system from Kia and especially from EV6. But I think in the future Kia will bring this multimedia system also on the normal uh, IC cars or in the future we'll see it on all the cars at least for the next two years in my opinion with little bit improvement here and there. Anyway, let's start with the interior. Also, we will talk about the cockpit and about the new climatic system. Uh, if you want to see more about the car, uh, check out the other full review video. Anyway, guys, let's start with the cockpit. First of all, the cockpit, it's the same cockpit actually as Hyundai Ioniq 5 use it. And it's a very simple cockpit, not so complicated, not many crazy features there. Uh, it has a great resolution, it's big enough, you can see there everything on the screen. Good resolution, good colors, good brightness and let me show you. You can control it from here, from the steering wheel and it's super simple. Actually, you can change and see here, for example, the consumption of the car. Then the next one is the navigation. You can see the direction, so no map here on the, on the cockpit. Uh, sadly, maybe in the future we will see an improved cockpit, but for the moment you have only direction uh, for the map. Then here you can see the tire pressure and information about the car. Here you can see also information about adaptive cruise control and all other stuff. If you go down, you can see also here you have information about um the the lunch break you have information about the traffic speed limit yeah keep in mind it's super simple nothing crazy nothing fancy it's just uh, yeah just a simple cockpit with the most important information uh, on the screen right there now if you change the driving mode we have a button here driving mode it says uh, you can see that you have free driving mode you have normal sport and echo every time you change the driving mode even the display and the colors are changing and the design if you press a few seconds and hold it you will go in snow mode the snow mode it's kind of help you have a better grip on the ice on the snow and the car will try to improve this kind of stability on the road but other than that this is the cockpit super simple another thing that i want to show you is that uh, down here in the corner if you look closely you will see how much battery you have and right to the battery you will see level one from there you have some pedals behind the steering wheel right here plus and minus and from here you can change the regenerative brake you can choose how strong that regenerative brake to be you can see it's zero you have zero you have auto first of all when the car will choose for you uh, in which position to be zero it means the car will roll one it's level one regeneration level two regeneration level three and maximum regenerator one uh, i pedal drive one pedal drive is just incredible i mean i tried the car if you want to see test drive check out the test drive there you will see more information about that uh, also i like this new gear shifter from uh, hyundai anyway let's go to the multimedia system uh, but before that wait a second let's talk a little bit about this area here for example when you close the car this area here, let me open the door for a second, it's, it's black, it's completely black. You can't see anything down there. Look at this, it's, it's nothing here. You will never think it's a screen here. Um, but once you start the car, actually you put the contact, you will see that here will appear, it's a screen, it's a touch screen and it's very responsive guys. I noticed that it's incredible responsive and actually it's very simple to use. Right now you can see all the, the climatic system information but the great part is if you press this it will transform in shortcut volume. Uh, here is the tune and here are some kind of shortcut buttons. How cool is that? You can go to radio, media and set up and change the tracks and put some favorite here it's just super impressive to be honest and go back to navigation how cool is that this is something new and really interesting uh, double features i will call it now the screen is super big super good visibility right there on the screen if you go to home screen um, you will see the car right here with how much range you have how many um, battery you still have it if you go right you can see here the ev on the ev are uh, the information about battery you will see if you close the climatic system you will have 409 kilometer right now you have 373 kilometers here is the vehicle to load that means you can choose the level that 
you want to give energy to other wherever you want to charge and you can lock it there from here you can lock it and also here are all other schedule and settings about the battery dc charger you can for example charge change it maximum if you want to charge it only 90 percent or 80 percent you can do it from here in dc and also in ac it's really interesting the ac charger the winter mode the utility mode are so many cool features that you don't find it in other electric cars and that's something that i like very much um, on kia next departure here you can also schedule your charge and yeah it's quite nice here are the information about the EV then you have the map that map uh, you probably see it already on Ionic 5 or on my other videos I already have a review with that and here you can see on the map also you have all the charging ports and yeah you can set as destination it's work fast um, in a few seconds it will loading and it will show you the the best routes there add the route change the route and then play and then start and then it will go directly there cancel the route here you have all the options uh, all the settings it's super good navigation one of the best navigation um, i like very much the way they did it uh, now let's go back also the car can read the traffic speed limit you can see right there it has a camera up here um, then you have the phone connectivity you can connect your phone you can see right here all my phone um, then you have the project phone you will need a cable for android auto or apple carplay i already have a video how to connect it check out on my channel next days will be there if not it's already there um, then here you have the climatic system you can also control it from here and not only from down here so that's nice that you have this option and also you have some nice extra features like auto the human fi uh, smart ventilation and auto defog yeah quite interesting really smart things um, then voice radio media uh, valid mode the car come with valid mode with quiet mode and the settings on the settings are the most important settings go to settings go to vehicle uh, settings and here you have all the settings of the vehicle the speed limit forward uh, forward safety uh, with all that emergency brake and all that safety feature so for example when you press one it will get you directly here to the settings and here you have plenty of settings driving convenience speed limit here you can choose the speed limit um, how you like to have it the speed limit tolerance uh, then you have the warning timing here later or normal warning volume so you can have it haptic warning if you want some vibration then you have the driver attention warning forward uh, safety this emergency brake um, warning only or active lane safety blind spot technology blind spot safety activate disactivate whatever you want and rear cross of course then you have the driving modes on the driving modes the brake mode it will choose how you like to have the brake mode when you brake sport or normal echo mode climatic control climate control eco vehicle for example here you have smart recuperation medium deceleration uh, also charging connector locking mode uh, you have so many settings here guys it's so complicated um, it's so complex and i like it very much this is the instrument cluster from here you can choose and the brightness and select the theme and yeah you can customize a few things here and there the distance the way you want to uh, look there then you have the climatic system the settings the seat settings here because they are electric you can adjust a few things here and there the lights i like the lights and then you have the doors approach unlock power tailgate you can activate and deactivate them smart tailgate the remove window control and convenience on the convenience you have wireless charging system and then you have rear occupant alarm uh, you can also deactivate this if you want to super smart then you have the sound here uh, settings where you can change different settings equalizer uh, you have the driver guidance radio noise driver assistant warning and connect device you can connect android and apple carplay but you need a cable uh, this here you can connect them then you have the voice recognize you have the display settings the buttons the kia connect and the general on the general are also the other settings for example where you see the system information my data you have also date and time you can change the language from here the car have plenty of language guys i mean it's made for everybody keyboard you can change the keyboard the units here it's important miles or 
kilometer Fahrenheit Celsius and yeah I think those are the most important things guys on the display you can change the different things on the display you can change the brightness of the display you can make it brighter if you want to uh, the blue light filter it's also a smart thing for your eyes um, really really interesting uh, there are so many features here and so many settings that you can change and activate deactivate that it's crazy it's super super complex uh, on the media guys it's simple you just connect your things uh, for example i have connected my uh, music and you can see it right there then you have the radio here where you can change different stations and yeah stuff I think it's simple don't need to show you that then the other cool thing is that you have the manual here in the car you have to scan this with your phone and you will have the manual directly online you don't need to have that book big book like in the in the past so i think this is the most important things if you still have question ask me guys down below uh wherever you want uh and i will answer to you um, hope it was useful also i like very much the way they uh, array it here on the dashboard it's kind of a nice round display like the new bmw uh also multimedia system they make it the same uh, great visibility from the driver point of view and it's quite responsive so i like it guys i hope it was useful if you like it please like it share it also if you want to see the videos um, test drive review with the kia ev or other kia cars new cars subscribe to the channel to see the notification when the video will come out thank you for watching i hope it was useful for you guys stay safe don't forget to subscribe like and share and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys